Trees. Trees. I absolutely love trees. Trees give us oxygen to breathe. They bring us shade and a place to cool off on a hot day. They are a wonderful home for many animals. They can reduce air pollution and are incredible for the environment. They even remind me of broccoli. And broccoli is a super food. I like broccoli a lot. <sighs> Let's get back to trees. I think we can all agree trees are amazing, which is why trees have their very own holiday. There's a special day that's all about trees. It's a day of learning about trees, celebrating how awesome trees are, and planting new trees. It's called Arbor Day. Arbor Day. Now, you might be wondering, why is it called Arbor Day and not Tree Day? Because, I don't know, if it was up to me, I probably would have called it Tree Day, you know? Tree Day! I mean, what does Arbor even mean? Well, get ready because you're about to learn a Latin word, okay? You're about to learn a word the ancient Romans used. <laughs> Actually, you already heard it. The word Arbor is Latin. It means tree. Arbor means tree. So Arbor Day really does mean Tree Day. The first part is just in Latin. Why is it in Latin? I don't know, maybe just for fun. Speaking of fun, it's time to dig into more facts about Arbor Day, starting with this. In the United States, Arbor Day is usually celebrated on the last Friday in April, but not everyone in the United States celebrates Arbor Day on the same day. In Hawaii, for example, Arbor Day is celebrated on the first Friday in November. The first Friday in November. Now, why would Arbor Day be celebrated on the first Friday in November in Hawaii? Well, that's the beginning of the rainy season in Hawaii, a perfect time to plant trees. Planting trees is a big part of Arbor Day, so it's important to celebrate Arbor Day when it's a good time to plant. Now, Arbor Day isn't just a holiday in the United States. It is celebrated in many other countries as well, and they celebrate at a time that's good for planting trees as well. For example, in Australia, Arbor Day is celebrated on the first Sunday in August. The first Sunday in August. Depending on where you live, Arbor Day might be today for you, but not for someone else. Isn't that interesting? All right, so around the world, people celebrate Arbor Day at different times, but in the United States, it's usually celebrated on the last Friday in April. Planting trees is a big part of Arbor Day, so it's important to have Arbor Day at a time that's great for planting trees, so these new trees can be as strong and healthy as possible. Okay, we've learned some basic facts about Arbor Day, but how did Arbor Day begin? What's the story behind this special holiday for trees? Well, it all began with a man named J. Sterling Morton. You can see him right here. Now, J. Sterling Morton lived in the state of Nebraska. The state of Nebraska. This is what Nebraska looks like. And here's Nebraska's flag. J. Sterling Morton loved nature, and of course he loved trees. And there just weren't that many trees in Nebraska at that time. Nebraska was mostly prairie land. And he was like, hey, we need to plant trees. He understood that trees are so important for us, for the environment, and for all of the amazing animals that depend on them. So in 1872, Morton suggested that they have a day set apart for planting trees. They planned it out and had the very first Arbor Day on April 10th, 1872. Now check this out. It's believed that J. Sterling Morton planted as many as one million trees that day, in addition to the thousands of trees planted that day by other people in Nebraska. It was a huge success. 
Well, other states took notice. They were like, wow, did you see what Nebraska did? Other states started celebrating Arbor Day. Isn't that cool? Then as the years went on, more and more states started participating in Arbor Day until finally in 1970, Arbor Day became a national holiday. So Arbor Day is a national holiday when we celebrate trees. The biggest way to celebrate Arbor Day is to plant new trees, just like they did on the very first Arbor Day in 1872. Hey, do you remember when Arbor Day is officially celebrated in the United States? Different regions can celebrate it at different times, but when is Arbor Day officially in the United States? Yeah, the last Friday in April. Arbor Day is a national holiday that's officially celebrated in the United States on the last Friday in April. But it's important to remember, some places do celebrate it at other times, like in the state of Hawaii. And of course, Arbor Day is not just a holiday in the United States. Around the world, different countries celebrate Arbor Day at different times. Okay, do you remember what arbor means in Latin? Do you remember? Uh-huh. Yeah, arbor means tree. Yeah, arbor means tree. Oh, and who was the founder of Arbor Day? Do you remember? Who started this wonderful holiday? Yeah, J. Sterling Morton. Great! Hey, you did an awesome job. Well, the world can always use more trees. They help us by giving us oxygen to breathe. They make incredible homes for so many wonderful creatures. They are great for our planet. And let's be honest, they look really cool. Wow, have an amazing Arbor Day. Whenever Arbor Day is for you, maybe it's today, tomorrow, or some other time, Whenever it is for you, in honor of J. Sterling Morton and in honor of Mr. Whiskers, have the best Arbor Day ever, okay? And hey, if you see Billy, let him know. You know a Latin word, all right? You know Latin now, okay? Arbor means tree! Sorry, I got overexcited there. <laughs> Thanks for learning about Arbor Day with me. I hope you had a lot of fun. A couple of things real quick. First, if you haven't subscribed and you enjoyed the video, click on that subscribe button. There are so many fun videos to watch and you can stay in the loop with new uploads. Second, I wanna give a special thanks to everyone who is a patron. You all are so amazing. Membership starts at just $1 and every member gets homeschool pop tattoos sent to them. I address the envelopes myself, it's true. You can click the link below this video or visit homeschoolpop.com means so much to me so thank you and of course you know this already but you are awesome and i cannot wait to see you on the next learning video